Hello everybody and Happy New Year. Today our story is about Jesus's baptism. And here's the story. While Jesus was living in Galilee, his cousin John the Baptist was preaching out in the country of Judea. The people loved John and came to see and hear him whenever they could. Right? So here he is talking about Jesus and God and how cool they are. Sometimes Crowds of people came to see John by the Jordan River. The Jordan River is a river that is in um, present day uh, in the Middle East along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. When the crowds came, John would tell them, change what needs changing in your life. God's kingdom is here. The people would promise to change their lives and then John would baptize them to show that they were a new person in God's eyes. I baptize you on the outside with plain old water from the Jordan River, but this is nothing compared to what and who is coming, John would exclaim. The one who is coming will baptize you with God's own spirit. With God's spirit, you will be changed from the inside out. So what John is doing is um, something that we still do today, right? We still have baptisms in our church. Uh, I love baptism days in our church because my favorite thing is when um, I love to see all the families get up in the front of the church and then we have the, the blessing and the baptism. And then when that part's done, the pastors take the whoever was baptized, mostly when I've seen that it's been little babies, um, and takes them out and walks them up the aisle so that everybody in the congregation gets to meet um, this new person who's now part of our community, because that's what baptism does, right? It brings us into the Christian community and makes us all one community, um, and it's very cool. And I love to see the pastors walk up the aisle with the babies. So that's what John's doing. He's baptizing people and bringing them into the Christian community. While John was saying this, Jesus appeared. He asked John to baptize him, but John wasn't so sure. What? Me baptize you? I think it should be the other way around, John said. But Jesus insisted, do it, John. God does amazing things in baptism. So John did what Jesus asked and baptized him. All the way under the water in the Jordan River, Jesus went. When he splashed up out of the river, Jesus saw the skies open up and he saw God's spirit. It looked like a dove gracefully floating down to land on him. There was a voice too. The voice said, this is my son. He has been chosen and marked by my love. He is the great joy of my life. So there. So Jesus comes and can you imagine why? So John here has been talking about... And, and preaching and baptizing people and bringing them into the Christian community this whole time. And then Jesus shows up and he's like, baptize me too. And John's like, um, but you're like, you're like Jesus. You're like the guy. You're like it. You should be baptizing me, not the other way around. Because like, who am I? I'm just, I'm just a guy standing in the river. Uh, but Jesus knows and he knew that it was really important for us to go through that moment because it's, it's a moment where we can start fresh and start new and think about ourselves as part of God's community and think about what does that mean for us and what does that mean for the ways that we, that we love our neighbors and we help our families and do all of those great things um, to be good communities in faith, right? Good citizens in faith that we talk about in Sunday school all the time. So I really think it's important and it's fitting, right, that we talk about baptism at the beginning of the year, because this is a time when we are often talking about what things we want to do different, right? There's something about the beginning of a new year, it's 2021 now, um, where we get to be excited about what's coming up, and it feels like we've got kind of a fresh start where we can um, make new choices, make better choices, um, be kinder to each other. Um, remember that we are here to help our neighbors and to be good citizens together. And so it's, it's really nice that we get to have this story about Jesus's baptism. Um, something that was so important that even Jesus was like, yeah, I need to go through this too. I need to go through this. I want to have this fresh start. Um, and so that is what our story is about for today. So when you are 
finishing up this video and going about your day to do whatever it is that you're going to do, take a minute to stop and think about, you know, how do you don't need to really make a New Year's resolution if you don't want to. Some people love to make New Year's resolutions and some people don't, but you can stop and take a minute and think, what do I want to do differently going forward? Right? Take a moment and think about, you know, maybe something that didn't go well, or maybe something that you um, that you'd like to change. And then think about, okay, well, what can I do to change? Because we can think about changing all we want, but unless we actually do something about it, then that change is never going to happen. Right? Happy New Year, everybody.